Volteran here with a new video and this time I want to share with you the winners of Volteran Hammer. This is a painting contest that we have done here in, in, in my area, in, my, in, in Brussels and some of the next cities. Let me explain a little bit more about this painting contest. So it's a painting contest where we have different categories. Is uh, we have the, the quite the common ones: base unit 40k, base mini uh, 40k, base monster 40k, and the same base unit Age of Sigmar, base mini Age of Sigmar, base mini uh, base, base monster Age of Sigmar. We have the young blood, and we have at the end the best of the show. Uh, the yeah, the the winner of the con uh, of the contest or, or each category get a, a small trophy, a nice trophy. And the overall winner, uh, the trophy for the overall winner was, or the best of the show was a uh, shot. So the, this was organized by mm, four games workshop stores in the wrong, the one from Brussels, the one from Namu, the one from Liège. These three are from Brussels and I'm uh, from Belgium, sorry. And Lille, that is a city um, situated at the north of France close to the border with uh, Belgium. So these four cities, uh, the store, uh, the games which we from these four cities were participating. So you were, you were able, you, or you were allowed to participate in three of the categories. So you can give an entry on three of the categories and just one mini per category. So they wanted really mm, that you cannot participate in all the categories with a lot of minutes. They want to mean, uh, and I think it makes sense. Uh, I, I really like this type of uh, uh, of um, content, uh, or, or, of rules. Uh, yeah, it was quite interesting. And so each shop was nominating the winners of each shop, and then the winner of each shop was competing with the winner of the other shops to find the overall winner for each category, and then the best of the show. So the best. Uh, um, the winner of uh, that uh, overall the the contest. So let's go. So we I will start first showing the best uh, miniature 40k, and this was this Dark Angels uh, Sergeant from this is from the Dark Vengeance kit, and I think it's quite a nice uh, nice weathering on the boots. Uh, I really like it. So. I, one detail that they like a lot was this uh, reflection of the plasma on, on the head and on the... I think it was very well done. And I, I think it was a really nice uh, miniature, so well deserved. I think it's a great... Uh, we see also see the the weathering on the sword, on the, on the chainsaw, and I think it's, it's well, well done. Then we have the best unit 40k. And was for this unit of um, war spiders. Uh, there were some nice OSLs as well, and I think the the, the bone color, uh, the cream color of the helmet is quite nice. Here we see a better picture now of the weapons. So yeah, it was a nice. I, mean, I really like, and I think when you saw them in the shop, these are these were from Brussels. The previous one, I don't know from what shop it was, it was Namu or Liege. Uh, th this one was from the same shop as where I was participating of Bro in Brussels, of course. So this was also in the shop of Brussels, so I was uh, able to see them on the glass cabinet of, in Brussels. And was it's a really nice, nice uh, squad. Okay, here we see another picture. And now we go for the best monster vehicle 40k. And yeah, I think was is a very nice soul grinder with this marble effect on the on the armor plates. And also if you see the if you look here, you see this color transition from blue to the musculature pinkish. Looks like a Thanchian soul grinder if I have to bet for something. Again, here we see this color gradient. So we see that the skin is uh, changing from when it's close to the metal, it's more bluish, and when it goes far away from the metal, it's more pinkish. So I, I think it's very well executed, very nice miniature, and yeah, and I think he really played a lot with the musculature. Here we have very nice, highly contrasted uh, skin. 
And then we go to Edge of Sigmar and we start with the best miniature Edge of Sigmar. And yeah, this is, a, if I'm not wrong, this is a Liberator. So this is a Stormcast Eternal for sure. You see the armor plate, or the, the chest, uh, and, and then also the legs. But uh, I was able to talk with the person that did this miniature. I have to say, in life is looking much, even much better than here on the picture. Uh, but it's really a nice miniature. So it's a, uh, he's playing with the jade color and contrasting with this gold and all these shoulder pads and the protections here are all green stuff and plastic cardon so it's, it's really sculpted by him as well as, as this uh, on the helmet and uh, he was explaining me how he did it and it was a real lot of work here on, do, on doing this uh, samurai stormcast eternal i really like that one we go to best unit edge of sigmar and we have this unit from the Silver Tower, and I have to say that this is my one of my entries. So this is the category that I managed to win, and is the category of best unit uh, Age of Sigma. Uh, yeah, here we have another detail, and if you follow my channel, uh, you also can notice that this was the was the last versions I painted of the Zangors. And uh, the Ogvoid Thamotor that is really is really a nice miniature to paint. I invest a lot of time on on this miniature, trying to make the blending. And as you, if you follow my channel, you know that I don't use airbrush, so everything is done by normal brush, and also all the color blending on the miniature. And then we go to the best monster, Age of Sigmar, and we have I think it's an impressive uh, how it's called this. Uh, Blood sister, and I think it's a well deserved a miniature. So, here we have I think the wings are super well done, the base is matching very well with all. Uh, and the skin, I, I really like the color skin of this guy and how he's combining the warm and the cold part of the miniature. So, I think he's the miniature is very well balanced, he's doing the flames very well. So, it's really a nice miniature and it's really a joy to to a uh, pleasure to watch and we also have the young blood and the young blood we have this uh, nargal guy that i think it's for young blood it's very well done so have a lot of future and if he if he or she is continuing improving this is have a lot of nice i really like how the color skin is looking like and this the guy that will won the shot, no, the one, the best of the show, and I'm very happy to say that at the end was my unit uh, from the Silver Tower, the one I presented as a unit for Silver Tower. I make this a small podium for them as well for the contest that says "Welcome to Silver Tower," and I think, uh, yeah, I'm very, 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 very happy. I have to thank thank you to the organization and thanks to the. Because I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I really, I'm really, I'm uh, really, it blew my mind. So I was really uh, happy and joyful that I have win the the sword. So here we have another more pictures. Okay, yeah, the pictures that they made. And here I, it's me, and my little one, and receiving the sword at the shop. And then the the trophy for best uh, miniature uh, Age of Sigmar. So really happy this year. Uh, I well, there was I think was a very close competition. Uh, I think the the sergeant from 40k was very impressive as well. I think there was a lot of very nice techniques. Uh, but I'm very happy to to, see, to receive the sword, and I will prepare for next year. Go again and try to revalidate my title. Let's see what happened next year. But this year, yeah, I just have the sword hanging on my studio, and that's all for now. So this is what I want to share. I will put some more pictures now, uh, just if you want to enjoy. But yeah, just say thank you to the Games Workshop store, to the people for organizing this contest. Uh, I really, I'm really happy to receive the, uh, the, these uh, trophies. 
and the sword and yeah and i will keep uh, i hope i keep painting and i will keep participating and i see if i participate in more contests from other uh, on other parts that's all for now please uh, leave the comment below let me know what do you think and as usual thanks a lot for watching and see you in later bye